Nice vest. Thank you very much. <laughs> It doesn't really feel like you're being lied to when I say it in the It's remarkable, really. Just give off this aura of, of I don't know, Mr. Rogers, something. <laughs> I think all Canadians should be issued a sweater vest. Absolutely. All Canadians in sweater vests. All Canadians in sweater vests. My name is Mark McKinney. I am proud to be a member of Canadian Actors Equity, the Writers Guild of Canada, and Actra. Um, I guess you all read in the news this morning that uh, Prime Minister Harper has decided that he's not going to impose the censorship aspect of Bill C-10 upon us. Um, no, this is fantastic news. This is really fantastic news, but I don't think it's anything that we should be grateful for at all. I mean, this is like a man who steals your wallet and then kicks you in the face and then says, sorry about kicking you in the face. <laughs> okay? We need to do more. And I want to I wanna address Stephen Harper and say, I don't know what dancer broke your heart in first year university. <laughs> and so you took your first impression of artists when you saw her walking across the campus arm in arm with that poet. and. <laughs> Part of your heart hardened against the artistic community. I'm really sorry about that. But it's time that you got real, and it's time that you learned that you have to advocate for the Canadian television industry, which is the industry that I'm part of. You have to become a powerful force. If you need any example of what a conservative can do for our industry, look down to California. There's a Republican named Arnold Schwarzenegger whose part of his platform is to advocate that the legislature put in, uh, uh, put in laws that are going to aim at the jobs that we enjoy here in Canada. Now there's a conservative advocating for an industry. You've heard it said that we're a billion dollar industry. And my experience, I've been at this, I just realized, 20 years. But yeah, uh, my experience in this industry is it has been growing it has been getting better. One of the reasons it has been getting better, maybe the principal reason, is that we have an arts funding system that allows for the training of people who become professionals, who now have us on the cusp of being a world leader in television and film. And if we can get, I don't think it's too much to ask from a conservative prime minister that he get behind a business that has the potential that we have. You know, if you look at the last year in popular culture and see that there was a movie that led the charge of the Academy Awards that was directed by a Canadian, that was starring two Canadians, my question to Harper is, why not get behind a process that the next time that movie comes out, it's made in Canada and gives jobs to Canadians? We have the infrastructure here. We have the ability to attract this lost talent that we have, you know, that, that goes to London and to Paris and to L.A. because they're never really sure what the government is going to do. We need to finally put our foot down and say we're behind this important national industry. So I urge you, as, uh, as my friend did, to vote arts and culture. But if you're conservative, remember that vote can also reflect that we're a viable business that bring not only a sense of Canadian identity into your homes, and by the way, uh, when he says that people are too tired to go home and watch Canadian culture, that culture includes Corner Gas, that culture includes Kids in the Hall, and Flashpoint, and these shows that we love to watch on TV and put our feet up. So remember that. This is a good business. Don't ruin it. Restore the cuts to our funding. Thank you.